Hi guys, this video is going to be a bit different from the ones I usually do. Sometimes you just run into something that really annoys you. When that happens, I might make one of these rant videos about that. Let's start off by going back to my last video review about the Batman TV game. When I talked about the unit and turned it around, you may have noticed that there's a screw in the battery door. A lot of TV games have those. And don't you just hate those? Personally, I can't stand these things. Why the hell are they even in there? Other devices use normal push clips just fine. Yet these idiots who make these TV games keep on insisting putting in a screw to annoy us poor technically defunct consumers. Whenever the batteries are empty and I need to open it up, I always seem to have just lost my screwdriver. Where the hell did I put it this time? Having to search for a stupid screwdriver just to replace batteries, fuck that. What's the point anyway? Protect our kids you say? I call bullshit. Aren't we a bit overprotective here? It just makes no sense really. Kids who are young enough to feel the need to swallow everything whole shouldn't play video games yet. At least not without supervision. And kids who outgrew that stage have been granted the wonderful gift of imagination which is so big that they can open it anyway. They don't even need to look for a screwdriver, hell no! They make tools out of everything, like the floor for example. Oh, and they want in there alright, since it's locked of course, by making it harder to get in, you're just making it more fun. Good luck closing the thing after the 5 year old tried to claim Batman's secret stash hidden in the back of the unit. You'll probably need more than just a screwdriver you just found. I say make it easy so their curiosity gets disappointed before they have to resolve matters with destruction. But maybe that's the whole point. Yes, yes of course. I can see now. It's just evil marketing, that's what it is. Let the kids destroy the unit so parents need to buy new ones, while hiding behind stupid safety claims. Those smart bastards. Or maybe it's just cheaper to use screws? Well, that might be, I really don't know that. But if that's the case, then those companies are really cheap asses. I mean, it's not really like they put a whole lot of money into the actual game most of the time. The least they can do is make the unit itself decent. Or maybe it's a combination. I mean, it would be great for the company using the cheapest materials you can find to keep the production costs low and let children keep the sales high because of replacements. Oh, and if you don't believe me, just look on sites like Amazon and look at the product reviews for TV games there. A lot of people there have tales like Our little Jimmy liked it so much, we had to buy a second one after the first broke. No, they should send in this crap and start sending out a message. We buy their junk, we deserve quality builds. More things could use improving, but for crying out loud, start by putting in normal battery doors. Or give a free screwdriver with the unit.